hello guys welcome to spicy Lee m's channel yeah i just want to talk about um this um sad story that is trending online justice for sylvester um this young lad who um you know met his untimely end in the school you know it's i'm coming on unscripted on uh, edited to you know to use this my 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 new platform to give a voice and and to and to you know sort of appease my my conscience as i think as a mother you know and um and pacify the parents of this uh, young boy who who just left this earth you know uh, due to circumstances that were beyond his control you know um on my way back this evening from from work i all over instagram all what i was just seeing was just uh, uh, justice for sylvester justice for sylvester and on my way back you know sitting in the train i just my mind went years back uh those days when I was in, when I just gained admission into the secondary school, you know, when, 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 when I was quite, when I was very, very much younger, um, like in the primary school days, I remember, you know, experiencing some kind of, um, some kind of harsh treatment, some kind of harsh, and should I call it bullying, which is the very word for this sort of thing from my classmates, you know? Back then, it was this. It was like okay, whatever issues you had with your classmates, it had to be settled on Fridays. You know, fighting under the sun in this large field school. You know, public school issue now. You know, and then I, I would I say I, I I was kind of lucky because I attended the same primary school with my younger sister, my immediate younger sister, and she she was quite bigger than me back then, and. She was the one that used to fight for me. Like if I had any issue with anybody, once I got home, was I you know I tell her about it. She would like, okay, don't worry. She would even come to my class. I was a year ahead of her. She would come to my class to to meet that person face to face and say, look, okay, you threaten my my sister. You think she doesn't have anybody in this school that will fight for her? I'm going to, you know. And on Fridays, not every Friday, like it was a regular thing. Like there was this particular one. There was this girl, I, I wouldn't want to mention names, you know, this girl, for a whole one week stretch, this girl was threatening me in the class for no, no reason. I did not feel we were not sitting close to each other in class when family six, we were not sitting close to each other. This girl was threatening me for full one week, like in the morning when I wake up to get ready to go to school was it was a big deal. But my mom, she, she. Well, let's say she she too she had her own you know like preparing the children for school all she cared about was like okay all of you get ready for school she because she had to go to work she had to drop us off at school first before heading off to her own uh school where she taught uh, uh, as a then uh, boys college then so like okay she had so many things to deal with so i wouldn't blame her there that she could not really pay attention like okay why is this child you know slacking back you don't want to go to school what's the problem so I had to open up to my younger sister. And it was my younger sister that that helped me handle that situation because it was terrible. And I prayed to God that, that as, I, as young as I was, and I prayed to God that that should be the last experience of such a thing. You know? And that Friday, this girl came out. My sister was all, she attacked her like a tiger, beat the hell out of her. And fed her with sand. That was how to win your, you, you are pronounced a, 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 a victorious person. As I then, those days in school. I'm talking about in the 90s. Early 90s. So, coming back to this Sylvester issue. This is not the first of its kind. This is not the first time we are hearing of such things. Bullying in school. Bullying even amongst uh, uh, young children. It's all over the world. Not, it's not just known in Africa. It's all over the world. We have heard of what uh, these uh, issues in the American schools. Here in Europe, is the same thing. 
but there are different uh, the way the way this I, I i don't really know you know let, let me just stick to what how where i grew up from and i i never schooled here so i don't really know how it is but i try to find out from my job how is it like in africa then in nigeria then it came to say that that was in the primary school my sister helped me to sort that out and that was the last time that girl ever she ever spoke to me until we finished primary school we got to secondary school i went to a different uh, secondary school i was in the boarding school for complete six years six whole years not changing and from what from year one to year six i was in one college now, before you, there is this orientation people give to, to children, family members give to children uh, when they are about to board, get into the boarding school. Cousins, uh, older cousins, aunties, uncles, even parents, we have, they advise the children, okay, you hear about this story in this boarding school, about this uh, lady koi koi issue, you see bullies, if it's a mixed school, if it's a single school, like uh, for sing just for girls or just for boys, there are so many stories, and these older relatives, older family members, out of, from, from what they are doing, they think it's out of love. Yeah, he's out of love. You're trying to protect that child. You provide for that child to go to school. Okay, now you have to protect yourself mentally. You have to be, be just be ready for anything. And in Africa, for I, I think I have the I, I, for my 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 six years in the boarding school in Nigeria she has given me every kind of validation to say, okay, this is what goes on. When I was about to get into the boarding school, my I was in the first set of that federal government college. It was located in my local government area in Edo State. And I had an auntie who actually attended the old school that actually uh, uh, how will I be, occupied that particular uh, location. And she told me, okay, when you get there, the, uh, this is what you will see there. That, that was just a girl's school as at those days for them. Then I was going there. She was just telling me, okay, you have to prepare for the sand flies that will bite you. You have to do this. You have to do that. Then I had my older ones who told me ah when you get to school anybody that tries to bully you anybody that tries to do this this is how you should react this is how you should do you have to defend yourself if not mommy is not there to fight for you that is not there to fight for you your big brothers your big sisters nobody is there to fight for you. you are there on your own i got to school i was in the first set will i say there was, there was no bullying there there was bullying even at if you are small, the old, the bigger ones, those of those students who had bigger bodies than than other, they they kind of bully those. They bully those with, with smaller stature. I'm talking about your your classmates. Then talk more of when we we had we got to JSS to a new set came in. We in the hostel. I'm in the hostel. People, like we say, okay, uh, when the next set comes, I don't want any juniors to take me for granted. I don't want this. I don't want that. If you play too much with them, this what I was told. This what will happen. They will begin to uh, see. They will see you finish. They will do this. They will do that. So the school started growing. The school started growing. Those of us that had my younger sister was in. The, she was in a private school. Uh, Benson Dowsa University, uh, Benson Dowsa, sorry, Benson Dowsa, uh, uh, at Word of Faith, Word of Faith School. She was there, that was for their secondary school. She was there for the first year, you know. And when she she was there, and my dad said, Okay, uh, my dad of blessed memory, may he so rest in peace. He said, Oh, no, you can't just be there all by yourself. This girl is just there, enjoy herself, you know, always wanted to come home every weekend. Go and join your elder sister in the in the federal government college and she came over when she came i i was doing all my best introduced her to all my friends so that nobody they will not say okay they bullied her without knowing who her sister is her sister is in the first set so that kind of gave her some kind of protection if she did anything wrong to anybody they'll come to report to me so fast forward to after when i was in the ss2 my younger brother um, that's my uh, 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 uh second to the last born was brought my father brought him to the school now he was in the boys hostel i and my younger i could anytime i didn't see my sister all i could do just send the junior to go call my sister for me and okay how are you doing I hope everything is okay. I could look out for her. I could go to her hostel when I want to see her. She could come to me when she wanted. 
Now, this is a boy in the boy's hostel. The story was different for him. Exactly what this when I read Sylvester's story, exa exactly what happened to you. But will I say thank God he he scaled through my 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 parents quickly took they they, they they took action quickly. The very first week this boy came into the school, this, into a federal the school where I was, the federal government college. From his box to his mattress to his pocket, everything was gone. His bedsheet, he could not, everything was, with his name tagged on each item. He could not account for one thing, save the clothes, the house where he was wearing. His school uniform was gone. His two sets of school uniforms were gone. His uh, four set of house wears were gone. Just only the pair that he was putting on. His school shoes, this um, uh, cortina that we wear for classes was gone. Everything within one week. First week of resumption. Until one day, he, he never told me, but I observed that whenever I saw him, he, then I was uh, the assistant that he all prefers. He would come, I would always make sure he eats well with his friends. He would say, This is my friend, okay, I'll give them more food because I could I had access to that. And the second week, I started observing that no, this boy has been putting on the same clothes for the past one week. Because they became more, I could now see the deaths on it. The stains became very more visible. I could see his, his, his skin became darker because he hasn't taken his bath. He couldn't wash. He couldn't change. He couldn't take his bath. Nothing. Then one day I was in my class and his friends came and called me that my younger brother wanted to see. I said, okay, tell him to come into my class because we, we didn't, we're not having lessons. I said, tell him to go. He said, no, senior, he can't come. Why can't he come? Say, please, you just have to come and see him yourself. My friend said, okay, come, let's go check. Let's go check on him. We came out from the classroom. And by the time I went behind my class block, when I saw my brother, I burst into tears. I burst into tears. He was looking muddy from the crown of his head to the sole of his He was covered in mud. Dirty clothes. He was thinking, as in, he was, the stench coming out from him. Oh my God. Immediately, I took him straight to an empty, because the school was a very big one. We had, we had lots of classes that, that, that were not yet occupied, host, abandoned hostels that were not yet refurbished for people to, you know, that could uh, students could live in. I took him there. Got went to my hostel, got a bucket of water, and bathed him there. Gave him my own shirt, my school uniform, my white shirt, and you know, and his box. I just okay, wear this. I took his clothes and I watched and I asked his friend, What about his clothes? I asked my brother, I said, What about your clothes? They said, Everything is gone, everything is gone. I cried that day. I, in short, I was unconsolable. My younger sister, I called her. We both were looking at him. Then there was no phone. You, 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 all you could do was write letters. And sometimes you would have even gotten home for the vacation, for the holidays. Then your letter will arrive and come and meet you at home. So, what are we saying here? This boy, by the time the first. The first time he, he could barely make it through the first time. When my mother came for the for his his own first uh, uh, um, visiting day, my mother was in tears. That was our only son. I have, that that guy is our only son. You should understand what was how how her emotions was just all over the place. She was crying. I was wondering how she was going to drive back because it was six six or seven hours journey back to base. She was in tears when I told her. He saw, when she saw, she, he couldn't, this boy could not even tell her, he couldn't tell her what, what his eyes had seen in the hostel. And don't, please, I had a, a male cousin who was in, he was, my brother, my younger brother was in the red house. My cousin was in blue house. And he was my class, my age grade. We're in the same, we're in the first, same uh, first set. I called my cousin, I said, please, this, my, you know, this is my younger brother, please, Look out for this guy. Take care of him. Help me. But you know how guys operate. It's different. But I one thing 
my mother never joked was that immediately he finished we finished that term not that section that term that boy spent only one term in that school he made him finish that term he came with only in short whether he came with i think it was only his results and the clothes he was putting on that was what that boy went back home with that was the end of his uh attendance in that federal government college and he was registered into a day school close to you know at, at home so parents should always look out for their kids those uh, the children what mind what you tell them mind what you tell them those of them that are in body school especially in nigeria mind what you tell your child because when these children go out to school they overact what they hear what you tell them for their defense, they start using it to bully others who don't know. There are some children that are so weak, they can't defend themselves. They can't say anything. There are some, there, 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 there are some wicked seniors that, 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 that behave as if they fell from the sky. They, they, they were not, they were, they, 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 as if they, they, they are possessed by something. Reading Sylvester's story, it's not just he is he, he, just un, unlucky that he couldn't make it and a lot of things went wrong the, the, the stuff he was made to he was he was forced to drink L watching the video alone he should I, I I said no there's no way I can I can come back after watching this today they're refreshing they come back at me I said no 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 I'm I'm talking about this. Parents, mind what you tell your body, your 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 body, uh, your your body, your, your children who attend boarding schools. Please try and teach them more kindness, more than telling them how to defend themselves. Who the people that they want? To, who, if you are teaching them how to defend themselves, how to do this, how to be wicked, how to be mean, so that nobody can can threaten, nobody can bully them. Do you know, are you there to tell them, okay, these are the scenarios where you should be able to defend yourself? What I've taught you, this is where you should use it, this is where it implies, and this one where it implies. Please, let's be careful. Let's be careful. Let's be careful. That boy is gone. His dreams gone. His visions gone. His, his young, very, very young life, just gone, just, it's every way, for no reason, for no reason, for no reason. We pray for their family, for the, the parents of this young boy, and for as many that, that, that the stories have not made it to the social media that people can see and, you know, and cons, cons, console with them or console them or, you know, it's, this thing is not right. It's not right. Say no to bullying. Say no to bullying. Stop bullying your, your classmates. You want to show them that you are tough. You are weak. That's why you are bullying other students. And most those days, most of the students who were, especially the male students that were very wicked when we were in school back then, Many of them that they can't if you if you search them, they can't they are not doing well. They are not doing well. Wickedness does not pay. That's why some people come out today, they they, they, they were bullies in secondary school, they come out, they turn politicians, they don't even hear the cry of their, their of their citizens in Nigeria. When your child comes home and tell you oh, this is she, it's true. When you, when you hear your children discussing amongst themselves, and you hear one person trying to form form some kind of character that is on on head of, right there and they address the issue. Talk, get that person down. And say no, 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 no. What that your character is unacceptable. It's unacceptable. That's why some some Nigerian by the time you come out to foreign countries, you come here, come and meet some orderliness. All darlingness, you you misbehave, you touch somebody's child in Europe, you 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 will face the consequences. You will pay strafe, you will pay a lot of things that your your you only you you will tell as your children are stepping out, you'll be telling them, I I don't want trouble and you don't go and bring trouble for me. Guidance, 
talk to your words. Parents, talk to your children. Brothers, older brothers and sisters, please mind how you, you, you advise your younger ones who are heading to the boarding school. Stop it. Just stop it. It doesn't pay. So this just this just my this just from me, from me as a mother and and someone who feel, who I'm trying to imagine the pain the mother of that uh, of the, the mother of that boy is going through right now. His father, the, the the family in this city where people ought to be celebrating. Look at what some other children have cost their family for nothing. It's not like he offended them. He didn't offend them. Nothing. He did. He did nothing. Join, join your, what are you organizing that you want him to join? What are you organizing? What are you into that you want him to join by force, whether he likes it or not? He said no, he said no, I, but you want, you, you still want to force him to join what? We plead justice for Sylvester and for as many, as many children who are going through such things in school. We plead for justice for them. It's not enough to come on, uh, to go online and say, oh, let their conscience judge them. Let this, no, 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 no. Speak out. Everybody should speak out. Everybody should say something. If you're in school, if you're, you're, you're a boarder, you're a student in the boarding school and you see other seniors maltreating other, bullying other children, tell them to stop it. Tell them to sorry or secretly report them to the school to, to the school authorities. When we were in secondary school back there, we had students who were acting as informants for the school authorities. If you there are some certain things you will do, you no, but you don't even you you won't even know who reported you. They'll come and pick you right from the dormitory, they'll come and pick you from there. And you face your consequences, you face the consequences of your action. We're in body school, the federal government college. We had students from prominent homes so far away. No, no, no phone that they will, that, nothing like, like what? They will deal with you right there before they remember you, who your father is. So please, whether private, whether public schools, whether federal government colleges or uh, FGGCs or wherever, please. Let parents send their children to school and let their hearts be at rest at home. It's not easy not seeing your child in there. I'm talking about being in the boarding school. You are there all by yourself. Some schools don't even provide uh, uh, counseling for children. They have the offices there, but they are not functional. House masters, house mistresses, go into the hostels. Don't just go with long canes, frightening faces to threaten children. Look, observe these children. A child that was brought into the school looking plumpy and looking fresh. All of a sudden, that child is looking lean, looking skinny. Some children, when we were in school back then, some children would, because as the school kept growing, there are some children that would, some new, new set of uh, 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 students that came into the school, some of them don't even have, by the time they get to the dining because they've not yet understood the, uh, understood the, the routine of the school or the, 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 the how the time, the, the bells, how they go, what is for. They, they don't eat. Once they, they, okay, they go to the dining hall today. They, by the time they go there, the food is finished. They go back to the hostels. They, I, I, it's different. It's, it might be different in the private school, but in the, if they're going in the public schools, it's not the same. You withdraw, people send their children to private schools to shield their, their children away from this bullying and all this stuff from the government, federal government schools or the public schools. And it's even worse. It's worse in the, in, the, in the private sector. School proprietors, uh, proprietors, proprietresses, everybody stand up. Be at the top of your game. Be at the top of your game. Know what is going on. Just be involved in the life of your students. Don't just sit in the office, collect money, and, and be happy. Swaying on your chair left and right, seeing that your, your bank account is rising up and your children are suffering in the hostels. Sometimes, this, I believe, yes, I, I know that the Ministry of Education, they, sometimes they send supervisors into these schools. Send them out. Send your, your house masters and mistresses. Send them on courses. Let them understand what it is to, 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 to take care of children. 
Not just coming to check whether the hostel, whether they attended class, they are not just lounging in the hostel or they are, they are in class or the child, who, who did this, who, you did not watch the toilet, you watch the toilet, you did not do, you did not do. Look out for these children. A child that was cheerful when she started the school, he started the school of a study, a child is withdrawn. And an extrovert has become an introvert. That's a sign. That is a sign. A child who is outspoken, all of a sudden, the child can't speak. Any little sound, the child reject. That's, that's fear. That's fear. And these children will grow. Some of them that, that manage to come out from this institution, we come out, and then they get to, they take that thing and grow. Some people, they can't stay on their own. Why? Because they've, they, they, too many negative things have been inculcated into them. You, you, not by the teachers, by your fellow students. May God help each and every one of us. As God is helping us, may we help ourselves. Help ourselves by thinking right. Act right. Think right. Act right. That's why the Bible says, our Lord Jesus said, that the greatest commandment of, of all Love your neighbor as you love yourself. As you love it, you don't want yourself to be hot. If you can love your neighbor to that extent, all these things, all this negative information will be on the low. Because give, give, help us and give us grace to be the best that we can be for ourselves and for the society. In Jesus' name, amen.